Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I'm going to be doing a health check and weighing with Astraea. So I have actually got my Mexican Black King Snake t-shirt on as you can see. Uh, this is the first time I've actually worn it so uh, I just kind of um, modified it a bit by cutting the neck off i like t-shirts but not that so uh, anyway so i've got that on today so uh, yeah without any further ado i shall just get astraya out and uh, we'll check her over oh <laughs> hello little girl let me get you out now there we go. Okay, you're gonna have to mind your head. That's it. Okay, hello. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Let's weigh Australia. Uh, so I've had to switch the torch on and um, it says 491 grams. So that's what Australia's weighing at the moment. And there she is sitting quietly in there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get her out and uh, just check her over. Yeah, so Australia weighs 491 grams and I think she was at 434. Um, yeah, she was, she was at 434. So she has gained a bit of weight and I'll put the information up on the screen. But uh, yeah, so she's uh, doing really well and she's put on weight probably because I've been giving her larger mice. Um, I did see online that females should weigh up to three to four pounds. So I kind of converted that and it's about, I don't know, one and a half or so um, kilograms. So she's not obviously at that weight, but I mean, she does feel chunky. She is, you know, still heavy and stuff and she's doing really well. She's alert and she's always out and about, tongue flicking. She's out in the daytime and at night time, more probably at the night time, I think so. Uh, but that's normal for king snakes. There's a little head. <laughs> She's done up like a pretzel at the moment, but I'm just gonna check her scales and things. So um, I'm just looking yet again for lumps or bumps or uh, any scales that are sticking up or you know, for any weird reason. And um, it is harder to look for mites on uh, Mexican black king snakes, but I mean, to be honest, they're like, they're like little tiny grains of rice that sort of size and I can't see anything like that on her and I think even if she did have mites um, she'd be going in a water bowl and they would be you know that's basically how snakes sort of ease the I don't know itchiness I guess of the mites is to curl up in the water bowl and you know sort of the water helps them uh, helps the mites uh, come away from the scales as it were so um, can't see anything in her water bowl so she seems all right and um, yeah so not a bad weight she is uh, four years old now she turned four actually this month July <laughs> we're still in July and um, so yeah that's when she was born so she's four years old now and um, yeah she's actually one of my most chilled snakes and like I always thought that king snakes and especially females were supposed to be like really crazy and bitey and all the rest of it but she's actually really good and as you can see she's I think she's just enjoying the warmth of my hand to be honest because she loves being on her heat mat so um but yeah she's looking all shiny as well because she shed um I think a couple of weeks ago maybe three weeks ago something like that so but yeah I'm just going to check her body and her scale so I'll have to try and unpretzel her <laughs> if that's even a word so yeah I'm just looking yeah, again, if she'll let me. Looking at her eyes and everything, and she's not got anything on there. There's like no stuck shed. You know, you don't want that on your snake. You want to try and get as much of that skin off as possible. But she had a really good shed, so it was all complete. 
and um, there's her tummy she's still got the odd sort of yellowy creamy colored scales but yeah she's looking and sort of iridescent i don't think you can see it on camera but um yeah her scales are looking great her vent looks fine um just checking her tail tip as well the shed came off that as well so i can't see any lumps or bumps she's holding on to my hand so it's really hard to check come on in my little bean you can let go of my thumb there we go okay so i'm just checking along her body and there's like nothing that i can feel on there there we go no Yeah, everything looks good and uh, it still makes me laugh because uh, <laughs> I was just, obviously I was just looking at her vent and it's still like orangey, it's still got that orange bit on her so she's um, she's not 100% um, black like Mexican black kings because obviously the real completely, you know, they've, they've got the gene where they're completely black and there's no white specks or anything, but she's obviously, there's a little bit of a gene in there where she's got a few little yellowy, creamy coloured speckles and stuff. So, but um, yes, she's looking really good and really healthy. And uh, yeah, she's such a good girl. She really is. And whoever said that female king snakes are crazy, they're only crazy for their food. Let's put it that way. So I'm happy with the weight. I'm happy that she's gained what she's gained. And I think I'm just going to keep my females on large mice for now every 14 days. And sometimes it's every 15 days. You know, there'll be a time where, you know, I, I can't feed them on the exact right day, but I will feed them the next day, you know, for whatever reason. But um, yeah, that is when I'm feeding them pretty much every 14 days. So yeah she's doing good and um yeah i don't obviously have any more king snakes to talk about yeah i don't have them in my collection um i'm just you know mainly got my corn snakes and my hoggies and you know she's the exception to all the others and things so um this won't be a massively long video so i wanted to do a health check with each species as it were of snakes so obviously i did my hoggies last week i'm doing australia this week and then like i said before i've got my corn snakes i've got five of them so i will do another two separate videos so um it'll be the three female corn snakes and then the two male corn snakes um in the upcoming weeks so i'm enjoying whole you know she's nice and cool and she's enjoying my heat so um but yeah she's really really doing great and um um you know loving when she sheds her skin she's so shiny and iridescent and you know i mean the sun's gone in now but she's like a little rainbow um in the sunshine so she's uh, looking really good she's as i say always so well behaved and um i would i'd actually recommend getting a king snake because people say oh what would you recommend for a first snake and corn snake yeah they're easy um i would definitely after that recommend a king snake yet again they're great at feeding they're good at shedding you know they're just and they're chilled especially the females don't know what the males are like but you know my girls so chilled and i've heard that other mexican black king snake females are chilled as well so i would recommend them hoggies probably yet again third in line um they can be hissy and that does put people off but yeah whatever you get used to it after a while so um but yeah so that's it from me and australia for now i'm gonna just keep an eye on her you know her weight and you know as i say just check her body sort of every it's probably every other day every third day something like that so i'm hoping you've enjoyed this video and if you have then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer but for now from myself and a little hi Heidi Estrella, <laughs> she's trying to hide, and um, it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> there we go, I say goodbye.